Hello and welcome to The Foreign Fork, where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. Today we're gonna to be making a sandwich that's a little twist on a classic. So if you've ever heard of a panzanella salad, you know it's a really delicious, light, springy, summery salad that has pieces of toasted bread in it. Well, we're flipping it and we're making a panzanella sandwich. So we're gonna have some bread on the outside and a nice, beautiful tomato cucumber salad on the inside. It's gonna be delicious and I can't wait to show you how to make it. So I'm gonna start with two to three Roma tomatoes. I'm using homegrown tomatoes from my aunt's garden, which are a little bit smaller than the Roma tomatoes I would get in the grocery store. And this tomato is so red and beautiful and juicy in the middle. I never normally get farm fresh vegetables because I don't have green thumb. I always like to use a serrated knife when cutting tomatoes because I think it cuts through the skin a lot easier. My tip here when you're cutting your tomatoes is um, you can see we have all of these seeds in here and that's gonna make the salad a little bit wetter and could make the bread soggy. So when you're cutting up your tomatoes, scoop out the seeds so that all of that liquid is gone and then just use the actual like meat of the tomato. So I'm gonna put these tomatoes as the base of our salad and I'm gonna pick them up and make sure that I don't get a lot of juice in here and, and I don't want our bread to get soggy. So I'm gonna take some paper towel, squeeze the juice out of them a little bit, not squeeze, just very lightly hold them in the paper towel, try to get a lot of that liquid out. All right, I also have one third cup of chopped cucumbers, two tablespoons of red onion, one and a half teaspoons of red wine vinegar, a half teaspoon of lemon juice, one half teaspoons of honey Dijon mustard, and then I have two tablespoons here of olive oil, but I don't think I'm gonna need that much. I'm just gonna give them a little drizzle here. Maybe about three quarters of a tablespoon to one tablespoon, depending on how much, um, how juicy your tomatoes are too. Now it's time to add the herbs. I'm gonna take about four to five maybe mint leaves and I'm gonna chop those up and add them into our salad as well as about, I don't know, a half teaspoon or so of fresh oregano. And then I'm gonna put the oregano and the mint into our salad as well. Salt and pepper to taste and you're done with this part. So now it's time to actually assemble our sandwich. So I've left our salad to rest for about five or so minutes just to make sure that the vegetables get coated and all that yummy dressing and the flavor kind of seeps in there. And while we're doing that and waiting for that, we are going to prepare our Sammy. We have sliced brioche bread from Bakerly and I'm going to take out two pieces of this bread and I'm gonna butter one side of each. Give it a nice hearty coating of butter because it's just gonna toast better that way. Put those aside for a second and we have some deliciously fresh mozzarella here that I am really excited to put on my sandwich. I'm gonna cut it into nice thin slices for us to layer on top of our bread. My pan is over here heating up on low-ish heat. I'm gonna take one of my slices of bread and put it butter side down onto the pan. And then I'm gonna put a nice layer of mozzarella cheese on here so that it could start getting all melty. Now it's time to go back to that salad that we made earlier that's been resting. So you can scoop some of that salad onto your bread. When you're scooping your vegetables, make sure that you are not scooping up a lot of the dressing to go with it. If you do that, the bread is gonna get kind of soggy, which we definitely don't want. So make sure that you're only scooping up the vegetables, you're not getting the dressing, and then that way you'll end up with a perfectly textured sandwich. Lastly, we're gonna put our last piece of bread on top, butter side up. I'm gonna kinda squish it a little bit. And then we'll put a lid on. We're gonna leave it in there for a couple of minutes and we'll check it in a little bit to see if the bottom side is brown. Once it is, we'll flip it, we'll brown the other side, and then it will be ready to eat. Our panzanella sandwich is beautifully toasted, as you can see here, so that means that it's time to cut into it. And I can't wait to try this because I've never seen a panzanella sandwich anywhere else on the internet. Maybe I invented it. 
This bread is perfect for this recipe because it creates such a nice crust and it's kind of a sweeter bread that goes with the tanginess of the sauce that's inside for the actual salad recipe, so I love the combination. But it's definitely an easy recipe for you to make at home and I'm so glad I got to partner with Bakerly on this. Thank you Bakerly for sending me the sliced brioche. You guys should go check out their website and see any of the other products that they have on there because they're delicious. And don't forget to check out the full written instructions for this recipe on my website and browse the rest of the videos on my YouTube channel too for some other delicious recipes from around the world. I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.